Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install this interesting looking mod. It's a race truck mod and um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing that you need to do is install Open4. I uh, have a video showing you how to do this which you can check out in the cards of this video and once you have um, Open4 installed you can go ahead and install a trainer. Now we'll be using the trainer to spawn a vehicle as well as teleporting ourselves to a um, to a different location, to a racetrack, which you can actually check out a video on how to install. Uh, it was my previous video. Um, anyways, you can also watch a video on how to install Simple Trainer, which I also have in my, on my channel. Or you can just check out the cards of this video. It also has a link to this video. So once you have those two things installed, Open4 and Simple Trainer, you can go ahead and download the mod. I have it right here in my downloads folder. Now there's only one way of installing this mod, which is the um, add-on method. So the add-on method, all you have to do is go into um, your Grand Theft Auto V main directory. Now the first thing that you have to do to get there is go into Steam, Library, Games, right click on Grand Theft Auto V, click on Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now in here you should have a mods folder if you followed my video on how to install Open4. And if you do, all you have to do is copy update into your mods folder. So I have updated in here. Um, I already have it copied over because it has it's a it's quite a big it's quite a big file so quite a big folder. As you can tell, it's 12 or 20 gigabytes, so it takes a while to copy. So once you've copied it over, you go into update times 64 DLC packs, and now what you want to do is just copy this folder into here by just dragging it into there. Make sure you do not drag it into any of these folders because if you do, you'll break the game. So once you've done that, you go into RT truck and you just drag DLC into here, just like so. And that's basically it. That's the first step. Next, you want to open up Open4. You want to click on Windows under Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so now what you want to do is go into, to, into tools. Um, actually, sorry, no, uh, you go into edit mode. Okay, yes. Then you go into mods, update, update the RPF, common data. Now you should find a um, file called TLC list. So just right click and click on edit. So this window should pop up. Now we go back into this mod folder and you just want to double click on this read me but it's called something else and you just want to drag uh, you just want to select this um, line of text and press ctrl c to copy then you want to go into here and after paths you just click there and you press enter then tab once and press um, ctrl v so I wanted to show you guys something before I go on. Um, I noticed that in the installation process there was an error. Uh, if you right click on DLC list and you click on edit, you'll notice that our truck does not have a backslash when it should. Um, this was a mistake in the readme, which, yeah, it was just a mistake in the readme. So um, just add that in and you should be fine. I could show you the process of how I find out what the mistake is, how to, you know, trace it back to this problem. But I'll just show you guys that, you know, this is how you fix it, this is what happens. Um, and yeah, that's how you fix it. So continue on with the video. And as you can tell, it has copied it over. So now you can save. And we are done with installing this mod. So you can close everything you have and I'll start up GTA 5. And I'll see you guys once the game has finished loading up. Okay, so as you guys can tell, the game has started up. Now it's raining, so let's get rid of the rain. So to start up the, uh, to open up the menu, you press F4 and to navigate the menu, all you have to do is press the arrow keys on your number pad. So I'll go down to weather. And then to select it, you just press 5, 5, and then to go back, you press 0. So now I'll spawn the vehicle in 
vehicle spawning spawn vehicle by model name and it's called our truck race truck racing truck and there we have it it looks quite amazing yep this is definitely an amazing mod it just looks so cool I've actually watched um, races of these trucks and they're actually RC trucks that looks they look just like this and which race so it's really cool and it's animated too so hold on there you go as you can tell it's sort of vibrating because it's because it's turned on um, let's check out the engine is it shaking too no not really okay so let's check out the interior the interior looks okay um, but there's something wrong with my head the dials aren't really working but I think they're okay let's check out the um, exterior let's open all the doors okay so that's that's what we can open wow that's really cool as you can tell there's a radiator in front so yeah this is a really well done mod I think the doors look very nice and well modeled very detailed so it looks really good nothing much else to say about this all that's left is to try it out on the track um, now let's go ahead and maybe check out some customization features so vehicle mod menu and let's try and add a spoiler I think there was a spoiler in the picture um, where is it what's this I guess I'll just check oh um, no, that's transmission engine Okay, suspension we can change, armor we can change, hmm, doesn't seem to have any other customization features. I guess you just have to like spawn it a second time or something. So let's get out of the vehicle and let's head to the truck, which is around here I'll turn on my controller okay place the waypoint and I press delete okay there we go and let's go all the way down perfect all that's left is to spawn the vehicle here. So let's press F4, vehicle spawning, RT, our truck. And there we go. Very nice. So let's try and race this thing. Okay. seems pretty fast not sure if the handling is made for um, this racetrack or just racing in general um, the wheels sort of stick out of the fenders but that's okay that looks really dope Oh, it understeers a lot. Let's try and add some power to this vehicle. Okay, got a break here. Oh, wow, yeah, a lot of understeer. Okay, I think that's a little bit too much power. 
but I mean it's going faster now. But I think this is unrealistically fast, so yeah. It was more realistic when I didn't add power. Although now it seems okay. We can add in some information about the speed. Um, okay, so it's around 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, nice. Whoop. Okay. Wow, it breaks well. Wow, nice scenery. Uh, ah, crap. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I think we're roughly in the same place we started off in. It's a little bit later on. I think we start off here. So I think I'll end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This truck is really cool. Definitely fits this scenery. It's a race truck after all. So I definitely recommend that you try and install it and try it out because it's a really cool, um, it's a really cool truck. I like racing and this is definitely a lot of fun for me. Although although it might not be completely realistic, I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.